all right so save menu form let's create a control in controls folder add new item dot net maui content view dot xaml here we will say let's say save menu item form control dot xaml okay in here let's remove this vertical stack layout let's have a scroll view because if form becomes bigger we should have this scroll view okay inside this scroll view we are going to have a label so let's do this let's run this and we will keep on adding items and we'll see the design in real time okay but before that let's use this on our manage menu items page here in this second grid save menu save menu item form control run it okay it's here nothing right now there will be nothing but let's start adding but before that let me try to set this okay in this scroll view first thing we'll have a label with the text first we need to set item name okay and second thing so we can't have direct children as child as label so in a scroll view we'll have vertical stack layout inside this vertical stack layout let's have one more vertical stack layout for form groups basically label and entry so vertical stack layout the second one here we'll have one label and we'll have one entry okay we have this entry if then let's copy this or maybe before this let's do this on this entry we'll say placeholder and uh, name we can see this save it let's have some styling this and on this entry we are going to have multiple entries entry controls so let's create common styling here so content view dot resources resource dictionary style target type entry and name it could be anything let's say txt text box <coughs> then we are going to have setter property first we'll have a background color of value what is this color is this wheat or light wheat what is this wheat light wheat static resource right static resource light wheat wheat would make sense but let, let's right now try other things placeholder color we can have it as black this is the placeholder color light wheat is not good let's have wheat color only let's do this this background let's have this as light wheat so manage menu.xml here on this grid we have this wheat let's change it to light wheat static resource light wheat all right now this is looking fine okay
entry oh i didn't use this but without name it is doing this strange okay let's say style here we'll say static resource txt sorry what is this style oh not name it should be key my bad that's why it was getting applied directly on this because that name was different but it was targeting all the entries okay so key is txt static resource txt save it and this okay now we'll do the same thing or let's use on this label also we have label text name let's make the font a bit bigger font size 16 and on this vertical stack layout let's have some spacing of two or five all right save it and we are good now let's use this as well uh, as a style so if we want to add anything else we'll be able to add it easily at one place the target type should be label and for this x key let's say lbl for label and we will not have this font size 16 directly here instead we'll have style static resource lbl which is for label save it and we are good now let's copy this vertical stack layout paste it one more time so after name we need to have price enter price save it and why it is not coming a oh, placeholder color this does not belong to this label here we need to have font size as 16 save it and now let's have some spacing between these these vertical stack layouts so on this main vertical stack layout we will have spacing of let's say 10 let's reduce this internal Facing, I think two is fine. Save the so name, price, then we will have description. Copy it, description, and this time this should be instead of entry, it should be editor, which will be the text editor, multi line. So enter description. Okay. And here let's have some height or minimum height. Minimum height request, let's say 100. Yeah, it is fine. Save it and we are good now. So we have name, we have price, we have description. What else do we need? we need an image right and we need list of categories okay let's do for image so after name and after name only we'll have image here so vertical stack layout spacing to text image or let's say image slash icon image icon and inside this instead of this entry placeholder what we will have here we will have an image and one button okay image and button to pick the image from the the system so after this label we are going to have a border this is going to be act as a container for that image okay inside this border we are going to have a default image the so image source that placeholder image kind of thing so for this i already have an image image underscore add underscore regular underscore 36 dot png if i do this i can see this okay now on this image let's have height and width so height request 36 width request 36 and aspect is aspect fit or center aspect fit okay then comes this border 
on this border what we will do we will set a background color of weight first is this okay then on this we will have some height and width let's say height 100 width 100 okay horizontal option center and vertical option center so it should be in center uh, we should add this on this image as well okay now we have this image we don't need any border stroke thickness so we'll remove stroke thickness we'll set it to zero on this now we have this nice placeholder for our image okay now after this we need to have a button let's add the button after this border we'll say button text would be pick image okay then let's move it to horizontal options at center okay let's have background color as dark olive green save it then minimum height request 30 save it and i guess we are good we just need to have some more spacing between these two then pick image and this image icon so for this what we can do on this border we can simply have a margin top on this we'll say margin left zero top five right zero bottom zero save everything and now we should be good okay next thing we need to have our button save button and here we will have cancel button as well save and cancel okay and before that we need also need to have our categories 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 after description we are going to have our categories in this we are going to have a collection view of categories so categories collection view after that we are going to have our buttons so we are going to have two buttons one for cancel and one for save so for that we are going to have a grid with the two columns so column definition star and star first button grid dot column zero text cancel background color is red okay then let's copy this grid dot column one instead of cancel we'll say save let's remove background color and use dark olive green we need to have some spacing in here so on the first button we'll say horizontal options at start which is default and on the the second button let's leave it like this only this button is bigger so we are okay with this button being bigger save it now we are good with our form okay now what we just need to have the dynamic values here so for this name price description and we need to have categories list of categories okay so let's do that first thing is now because this is a control we need to have things inside code behind of this file okay so here we need categories from its parent Mm -hmm. and can they will be changed yes so let's do this we'll say public static 
read only bindable property categories let's create a property here so which will be type of menu category model array of menu category model so we don't need this here like this menu category model categories for get we will simply say get value of this categories property the top categories property we already have this bindable property creation in category list so let's copy from there only so bindable property and categories this whole thing let's paste it here categories we have categories here now we need menu item model for this so let's go to models here let's create a new class so public partial class menu item model let's move it to its separate class go there menu item model and this is going to be an observable object observable object because we need all these things name image price description all these things to be observable so we'll be having private string underscore name observable property then we'll have private string underscore price not string it should be decimal then private string image which will be icon underscore icon this is also going to be observable then private string description again observable object sorry observable property and we are good we need categories as well so the categories of this particular item right let's say we have four categories but this item falls under two categories so we need to have two categories right mm -hmm. for that i think we should have it as an observable collection should we have it as observable collection because we will need to have we will need to change the selected it's selected property on this yes so let's have observable collection observable collection of type menu category model here we'll say categories get set with a default value of empty array <laughs> cool so menu items menu item model item should be m let's stop this because we are making changes in here menu item model rename this menu item model and now we can use this in our save menu item form control.xaml.cs okay then here we will have a property of type menu item model let's name it item only 
and then it should be a bindable property let's copy this categories paste it we'll create this bindable property or maybe let's have it here with this item only bindable property it should be item property name of item type of it would return a type of menu item model without array declaring type is the same control which is this save menu okay this should be here as well then instead of array dot empty for the default value we'll simply say new menu item model and then with this item we'll say forget we'll say menu item model typecast of get value of item property and for set we'll say set value item property and we are going to set value save it and we are good now now we have this item let's bind this item in our xaml so first on this content view we'll set x name equals this then on this maybe on this entire scroll view only we can have our binding context set so binding context here we'll say x reference this all right now we have this enter name this entry for this entry we'll say text binding and this binding would be name right item dot name item dot name then we are here with image for image we need to handle it differently then we have price here we'll say text binding item dot price then we have description so text binding item dot description then categories for this categories we'll create collection view but for now let's save it and we are good <coughs> okay for this collection view categories collection view on this we'll say item source equals binding item dot categories we have categories there right in this what we will do we will have collection view dot items layout we are going to have grid layout here so grid items layout orientation we need vertical with a span of three okay and then we can define collection view dot item template data template and this would be menu category model and for this we need to add our namespace let's go to the top add namespace xmlns models equals models which will come from our restaurant pos maui dot models namespace so here this is going to be now menu category model okay inside this we are going to have a border with the background color of wheat and inside this for now just display this label and we'll run it 
and then we'll design it but before that we need to add data to this so we'll add the data then we'll run it then we'll design it okay so text would be binding name category name to so save it all right now we have this item and we have this category do we need categories then no right in this item we have this category model where we will have list of all the categories with its selected true or false that means we don't need this categories property if uh, comment this out and we are not using it in xaml right text categories item dot categories that's all okay we are good so we need to provide the item property to the save menu item form control from our manage menu item page dot xaml in this control so if we need to display that we need to have this somewhere in our view model okay let's go to our view model so view models manage menu items view model here we have menu item selected category the same way we should have private menu item model underscore menu item and we will have a default value as blank object so that we can have the create new create new menu item sorry this is going to be an observable property and then right now i just found out we should have id as well here and that id is not going to be changed so we will simply have int id save it and we are good okay hmm, so we have this edit menu item async where we are getting menu item as a parameter here now instead of showing this alert we will create menu item model equals new menu item model and we'll add properties from this menu item object which we are getting as a parameter icon id name and price and for categories we are going to add categories one by one to this how we are going to do this <coughs> first we need to get the current categories under which this menu item falls okay so that information we don't have it here we have that information in our database so first we need to create a method in our database so let's go to data database service in here we need to create a method let's go to the very end here i'll say public async task of menu category get categories of menu item okay here we'll provide int menu item id so we need categories list of categories of some uh, of a menu item so for this also we are going to use sql query so we'll say var query equals let's generate the query here we'll say select star from menu category mapping or what is the name menu item category mapping menu item category mapping let's say we'll call it map of from should be menu category actually 
मैं न्यू कैटेगरी गेट एंड विल अप्लाई इनर ज्वाइन हेयर ऑन कैटेगरी डॉट आई डी इक्वल्स मैप डॉट मैन्यू कैटेगरी आई डी राइट द नेम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी इन मैपिंग इज मैन्यू कैटेगरी आई डी मैन्यू कैटेगरी आई डी ओके एंड इन दिस केस वी नीड ऑल द फील्ड फ्रॉम दिस कैट विच इज कैटेगरी वेयर मैपिंग डॉट मैन्यू कैटेगरी आई डी इक्वल्स क्वेश्चन मार्क ओके ना वील गेट कैटेगरीज इक्वल्स अवेट अंडर स्कोर कनेक्शन डॉट क्वेरी एसिंग इट वुड रिटर्न मैन्यू कैटेगरी एंड द सीक्वल क्वेरी विड बी दिस क्वेरी and the arguments are going to be this menu category menu item id this one argument only oh sorry not category id where condition should be menu item id save and we are good we can now directly return this categories right now this is list but we will return it as an array so return array this should be menu category list all right so our database method is ready now we can use this method in our code in our view model okay here we have menu items model then we'll hit save our item categories await underscore database service dot get categories of menu item and here we'll say menu item dot id now we have item categories now what we'll do we'll say for each in category for each category in categories this is this uppercase categories which is list of all the categories okay we will get all the categories and we will set each selected to true for the categories which are already assigned to this menu item okay we have this category here we'll say for category of item equals new menu category model will get it from this category and is selected for each selected we'll add a condition here so we will check if the if this category dot id falls under this item categories so if item categories dot any c dot id c dot id equals equals category dot id if that's the case we'll say category of item dot is selected equals true because this category is selected because this falls under this item categories if that's not the case we know that category of item dot is selected is true category of item hmm. okay now we have this category of item this category of item we will add it to this menu item model so menu item model dot categories dot add category of item okay 
save it and i guess we are good whenever we will select it we will add it we will come here we have this menu item model now we can set the this menu item put this one all right at the very end we will say menu item equals menu item model Cool. save it and let's use this menu item in our page example page so pages menu manage menu items page here we have this control here we will be having this item property here we can provide binding menu item save it and now we should be good to at least see the name price description let's run it I hope it works. Okay, it's here. Manage menu items. Let's click on cocktail and boom. We have co cocktail 6.99, refreshing cocktail, beverage, main course, snacks, dessert, fast food. Click on something else and the values are coming. Cool. We need to work on image and before image, let's work on designing this the category section this list so for this we'll go to our save menu item form control where we have our collection hmm. inside in this border what we will do border color is weed here what we'll say we'll first say a stroke shape round rectangle of corner radius 10 okay and we need some spacing so on this collection grid items layout i'll say vertical item spacing as let's say three and horizontal item spacing also horizontal item spacing 3 save and we have some spacing here then we'll come to border and on this border let's have some fixed height height request 30 or let's say 40 save okay now we need to move this text this label to the center so on this label we'll say horizontal options as center and vertical options as center cool save it now we should know that if this item particular item is selected or not so for that we have each selected property here on the basis of that each selected we will change the appearance of this category so here we'll say label dot triggers no not on label we should have it on border so border dot triggers data trigger target type is border here and the binding would be binding of it selected and the value is true if the value is true of each selected then we'll add a setter property type background color <coughs> and value should be maroon in this case so now we can see this category is selected okay now when this category is selected in this maroon color we should have this text as white so on this label also we are going to have a trigger so label dot triggers data trigger target type going to be label binding would be same binding is selected value true 
in this case we'll say setter property will be text color and the value will be white save it and we are good we can see this now okay now we need to have one toggle functionality as well so when we tap on any of the category it should be selected and if we tap on it again it should be deselected should remove from selection right? its selection should be set to false so for that let's create a event in here in this form only so we'll say private void <coughs> toggle category selection and we'll provide <coughs> menu category model as a parameter and here we could say simply category dot is selected equals not category dot is selected so if it was true it will be false if it is false it will be true and let's make this as a relay command save it let's use it so inside this on tap of this border so we'll say border dot gesture recognizers tap gesture recognizer command we will use binding source relative source ancestor type equals x dot type it would be the same control so we have namespace of this controls no let's add a namespace so xmlns controls controls from our project and the name of this is save menu item form control and from this we need path with this what is the name of this method toggle category selection and then command command and then we'll add our command parameter to this it should be this complete object this category object so command binding dot save it and now we should be good let's check it or maybe before checking let's work on this image as well so for this image we need to dynamically set image for this what we will do instead of directly working uh, with bindings what we will do we will use code behind to change the image okay so for that what we will do on this image we are going to have x name okay for this we can say item image or item icon save it and then we can access this item icon in a code behind let's stop it because we need to make multiple changes inside this okay okay so here when should we set it whenever we are setting item property then we should set that image okay now how would we know that when this item property is being set for that this bindable property it gives us one hook which is property changed so if you go to this this would be we can say on item changed we need to define this method here and for this we need to check the signature so i f12 this and there we have this property changed which is of type bindable property changed delegate and this delegate is this returns null and has these parameters so we'll have these parameters and we'll create a method here here we'll say private static on item changed and the signature will be this findable old value and new value okay 
now here we can work on this the first thing we'll say if new value is menu item model which would be we are sure but still let's have it like this so that we can directly instead of directly converting di directly type casting it i like to follow this approach now it will check and convert it should always be true so it will directly type cast it to this man menu item model now on this menu item model we can check the image icon so on this menu item model dot icon property we are going to have it here okay now here we need to access uh, this item icon but because this is static method we won't be having that item icon property here that we can have from if we somehow would get the instance of this save menu item form control for that we have this bindable object this object is a reference of the current containing declaring type okay here also we'll do the same kind of thing if bindable is save item form control and the name it could be let's say this control now we have access to this control and on this control we can access item icon okay so item icon dot source we can set this source from menu item model dot icon there's some error what is it item icon is not null does not contain definition for item icon x name item icon okay it will have but it is just freaking out but it will have this static okay this should be void item icon we have this item icon we are good if it is complaining about we are okay we know that this exists here all right now we have set it this source and if that's the case then we will change one more thing right now in our form or our image our border is of 100 by 100 our default image is by 36 by 36 but when we have our icon at that time we can set it 100 by 100 okay so in this case when we set this source to this at the same time we'll say this control dot item icon dot height request equals this control dot item icon dot width request equals 100 okay now we are good save it now when we press edit or press select any item from the left section we should see this image icon as well populated in the right section let's run it so icon and categories both should work okay open pattern selection is working right now we don't have that image that is why because by default it is providing us empty object in there this is null that's why we are not having it we are having this zero we are having categories we are not having any category we'll fix these two things but right now for edit case you see we have this image and we have this selected category this this we have nachos in snacks let's go to fast food if we select something fast food image is getting changed let's find it yeah sandwich it comes in these two categories so these two categories are selected now we can tap on any one so these all are these selected now if i press on any of the selected category it will going to be deselected that means selection is working 
image is coming all the data is coming the only thing is for the first case if there is no category uh, no menu item selected at that time categories collection is empty and this image icon is empty that's because by default it comes as with the default value where is it this default value of this so if this is default value menu item model the categories collection would be empty and the icon would be an empty string so that's why we don't have categories and we don't have that icon so for this what we will do first thing in this on item changed we will check if this is the first case or this is actually edit case where we already have category okay so for this before checking this bindable or maybe after checking this bindable we will check if the menu item model dot id is greater than zero that means we have this thing then only we'll do this if that's not the case we'll fall back to the previous thing and that is going to be images height and width 36 and this icon source this should be that default icon in the xaml this image add regular this thing so this default icon save it and now we should be good for this icon let's try it out go here and we can see this default icon but we are not having categories this also will work and if we select any other then that category icon is going to be here so we fix the first category case sorry first icon case now let's set the categories case let's go to page manage menu items page or view model where is it manage menu items view model so here when we have edit menu items async Mm -hmm. we have categories we have everything but for the default case where we have this menu item new we should have the categories collection here let's do this in initialize in initialize after setting the menu items is loading set to false and after selecting the menu items what we'll do we will simply go over all the categories category in categories and then we'll simply create category of item new menu category model menu category model and we are going to set all the properties with it selected as false because initially for the initial case is selected will be false now let's add this category of item to item which is menu item property dot categories dot add so this is for the initial case save it run it okay go to manage menu items and here we can see the categories without any selection this is the fresh case when there is no any item selected from the left section but if we select then we can see everything is populated 
tool so looks like we are good with this next thing just work on this cancel so that it removes this complete selection from here this category selection from here okay so on cancel what we'll do first thing we need to create a command in our save menu xaml in here private void cancel just cancel we don't need to do anything and on this cancellation we need to uh, pass something to the view model okay so we need to have this command somewhere in the view model to tell that the user clicked on cancel the uh, cancel this edit form okay so here let's create public event action on cancel and from this cancel we'll say on cancel dot invoke and let's create this as relay command save it now let's go to xaml and from here we have this cancel button on this we'll say command not parameter just command equals binding cancel command save it and we should be good now on cancel command we are raising this on cancel event action we need to react to this in our main page dot xaml so not not main page sorry manage menu items page dot xaml where we have our form so our form is here here we can check on cancel we can create an event handler here and inside this event handler we need to call one method from our manage menu view model so let's go to manage menu view model inside this we will simply create a command so private void cancel here what we'll do hmm what we will do here from cancel we can actually call this edit menu item async only because we will need to do this thing or not this thing the thing we were doing in the constructor this initialize this thing we need to do this so for this we can simply extract a private method private void will say set empty categories to item and we can cut this thing paste inside this and right before this we'll say menu item dot categories dot clear and then we'll look through the categories and add these let's call this method from initialize and the same thing we'll do from cancel so from cancel we'll say first thing menu item equals new we have reset this and after that we'll say set empty categories to item and now our cancel is ready let's add a relay command to this save it go back to the view model oh, sorry page and from here we will simply say manage menu items view model dot cancel command dot execute without any parameter it is asking for parameter we can pass null because we are not expecting any parameter from here so save it it should work now let's try it out we are here 
default case select now cancel so on cancel we have again default thing so enter name price description categories are deselected and image it fall back to the previous default image now again go to some other page select we filled all the details on cancel the selected details are gone so that means this section this thing is also working cool so so far so good next thing we'll work on changing this image this icon so for this we need to work with the device storage we need to change this image we need to save it into the device get the url or path of the image add it to the image this menu item and then we'll work on this save functionality all right okay so we will have just this thing open remove all other things we don't need this categories property we can remove this save everything 